I was hanging YouTube. I've got a whole load of CGC books back from Fort Bubble. Hi guys, Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to Triple G Comics. Before we get started, please can I remind you we've got a 500 subscriber giveaway going on at the moment to win the Punchline Books um, set. So please like and subscribe to the videos and you'll be in for a chance to win those books. Over the moon. This has come back incredibly quickly. This is um, a load of books that I took to Fort Bubble Comic Convention um, and got Scott's collectibles, link up above, to facilitate some CGC um, grading for us. So this has come back really, really quickly, a couple of months at the most. So this has gone through a rapid process. In this box, I should have, if it's all of them, and I think it is all of them because it's quite a weight, I should have a couple of copies of Something Is Killing the Children number one, all signed by James Tinian. Um, I should also have, forgotten. I should also have two copies of Daredevil books with remarks by David Mack. Now, I haven't seen the remarks. He, um, he took the books away and did them for us. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they're like. I've also got, hopefully, my original artwork um, of a Venom sketch in here as well. So like I say, don't know what the grades are on these books. Really excited. I'm not going to lie. With something that's killing the children books, I really like high grades. Um, anything above probably is a 9... I'd like a 9.8. Who am I kidding? Of course, I want nine eight. Right, let's get into it. Oh, nearly dropped them. That would be a good start. So, I'm going to put the box on the floor so I cannot see them. And pull them up with the grades covered. Okay, so we have got our Daredevil. I hope that's not reflecting too much. We've got our Daredevil Volume 2 Number 9. Oh, it's a 9.6! Wow, 9.6. Wasn't expecting that. Hmm. 9.6. So this is Daredevil number nine. Um, it is the first appearance of Maya Lopez, Echo. Uh, it is signed and sketched by David Mack. All right. What do I think of that? So as you can see on the image there, there is a sketch of Echo by David Mack. Now, David Mack's known for his art style, his painted style, which is phenomenal. You can see the cover's amazing. The hand sketch of Echo, it's interesting. This was a remark. So bear in mind, this is not a commissioned piece of work. This is a quick hand sketch remark, which I think costs something like £20, uh, which is, what, $30? Um, yeah. Doesn't blow us away, I have to say. Don't know what I was expecting. Let us know what you think of that remark, guys. But that's a mega key book. As you know, Echo has gone through the roof lately. Really pleased to have that in my collection. Now I should have in here next a Daredevil number 10, which is the second appearance of Echo. So what I did was for this book, because it's got Daredevil on the cover, I asked for an Echo sketch. For Daredevil number 10, it's got an image of Echo on the cover. So I asked for a DD sketch. So we'll see what we'll get. Um, yeah, I, I guess you get what you pay for. But anyway, 9.6 is a great book. First appearance of Echo. Very pleased with that. Right. So here we go. Have I showed you the grade? I've showed you the grade, haven't I? That's, I'm covering it on my side here, but not your side. Never mind what we've got. 9.8. Get in. So this is Daredevil number 10. Signed and sketched by David Mack. Now that is a sketch. I like that. So that's a Daredevil remark. Um, really, really nice. I like that one a lot. 9.8. Get in. Shame I didn't get the 9.8 on the previous book, but never mind. So that is stunning. I can't grumble. So I can't grumble. So that Daredevil book um, has been in my private collection since it first came out. And I'd like to just say that all of these books were pressed tremendously um, by a guy called John Lacey, who's on the Facebook groups. I'll put a link to his site up above here. Um, he does amazing work with his pressing. So thank you very much, John. These books would not have come back at the grades they've come back as if you hadn't worked your wonders on them. So that is Daredevil number 10, 9.8, with a, a pretty stunning DD sketch. I like that one a lot. I really do like that one. Excellent. Over and over with that. Right, I am going to try and cover the grades on these so I can kind of see. Take them out of the plastic. What we've got? We've got something that's killing the children. Can you see this? We've got Something is Killing the Children, number one. 
this is the variant cover oh yeah it's the j is it the j lee cover can't remember signed by um james tinian picked this book up um as part of a bundle deal where i got a couple of issues didn't pay a great deal of money for it wasn't particularly looking for this one to be honest um but it came with a copy of cover a so i got it along the side so this was pretty much a preview really um and the grade on this one is nine point no i'm saying nine but nine point two is great this is the thing with us comic book collectors isn't it we're getting obsessed with 9.8s 9.2 is very good it's still a near mint book um with a lovely lovely signature by j scott it has enough freaking with a lovely lovely signature there by um james tinian i haven't really been checking over these slabs as they've come out because we do know that cjc has some issues this one's got a couple of scuffs on it i'm not sure if that's on the that's probably on the book itself actually um yeah nice i like that cover i do like that cover checking for pubes um, and for random bits of plastic which every now and then cgc like to encase in the books just for a laugh really there we are nice book i do like that cover actually okay next one the other thing i'll just add about scott's collectibles is the packaging is absolutely phenomenal um absolutely phenomenal so we have got something is killing the children number one this is the unlocked retailer edition oh yeah this is the jenny frizzen cover i've already got a copy of this in 9.8 but it's unsigned this is a signed version um lovely book i really like that copy um again this is the first appearance of erica slaughter all of these something is killing the children number ones are, are good value books so what have we got i hope it's more than a 9.2 even though i'm being greedy there we've got oh, 9.6 get in get in oh i like that case looks good no issues jumping out straight away so this is the unlocked retailer edition signed by james tinian and it is the first prince of erica slaughter virgin cover nice i like that a lot excellent couple of big boy books there next what we got so this should again be another something that's killing the children i think we should be on my cover ears now this is something that's killing the children number one um yep signed by james tinian and we have got ah 9.6 get in oh yeah very pleased with that very pleased with that that is lovely so James Tinian has signed them on here. Nice gold signature there. Done that thought bubble. Um, love it. 9.6. I'm pleased with that one. Good money book that, I think, if I was to sell it. I'll be keeping 9.6. I'll probably be keeping that in my private collection because it's nice. Unless, of course, I get a 9.8, <laughs> which I don't think is going to happen. But never mind. Let's have a look. So we have got the next one is another. Something that's killing the children. Cover A quick check at the back no damage and um, so again this should be signed by james tinian and we have got ah, get in get in 9.8 wasn't expecting that that's amazing 9.8 by signed by james tinian something is killing the children number one and touching wood so far all of the cases have been really good no issues with cgc quality happy with that that's amazing right last one is my sketch cover which is a venom one um so this is venom one variant edition sketch cover i would love this to be a high grade but i just don't know with these sketch covers you're kind of paying for the art rather than the um the grade itself but we'll see so that is <laughs> 9.8 marvelous look at that so this is signed and sketched by Alvaro Bruno. Sorry, apology for the name. Look at that artwork. That is absolutely amazing. Over the moon with that. Um, yeah, just stunning. Just absolutely stunning. Got this done at Thought Bubble. Um, didn't pay a great deal for it. I have to be honest, Scott's facilitated it all. Um, when I say didn't pay a great deal, I think it was about £200 or something, £150, £200. Um, and it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So there we are guys so that's my cjc haul over the moon with that got some really good grades and um, some beautiful stunning books come back 
um, really really pleased them massive massive thank you to Scott's Collectibles for facilitating that brilliant service as usual always a good good service from Scott's Collectibles and also a huge thank you to John for um, doing all my pressing for us prior to the convention so thank you John I appreciate that okay that's your whack and I'll catch you next time take care